Welcome to our channel once again my friends. Happy to have you here always in our kitchen. Today we're going to be doing another traditional Guyanese recipe and it's no other than mango curry. So for our recipe, so you'd find this recipe at wedding houses a lot these days. So it's made at all religious functions in Guyana right now and even at home people make this a lot. Mango curry. And this goes with rice, roti, whatever you like to have it with. So for our curry today, we're going to be using one mango. And the other ingredients are going to be 1 tablespoon of curry powder, 1 tablespoon of roasted ground jeera, 1 and a half tablespoons of garam masala. We're going to be using half an onion, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and we have a stick of cinnamon as you can see there, 4 cloves of garlic and pepper to taste. And that's about it guys, we're going to go make this delicious mango curry right now. The thing we have to do is cut up our mango. So we're just going to cut this back in two pieces. So have you ever had mango curry and if you did, when last did you have it? How often do you make mango curry? Let us know in the comments down below guys. So now we're gonna cut each, each of these pieces into three pieces. So we should have 12 pieces of mango for our curry. Okay. So you're gonna slice off your head of the mango where the stem was, like that. Throw this out. And the skin is gonna be left on. You usually cook your mango curry with the skin on. All right, and the, the best mango for this is what people usually use most is uh, the spice mango that we have in Guyana. So the next step is to steam this mango with some sugar, which is what we're gonna go, go do right now. So we are steaming the mangoes. How much water it requires for you to just cover your mangoes, that's the amount of water you're gonna put in here. So we're gonna wash this mangoes while our water is getting hot. Okay guys, so I forget to measure out the sugar. So it's quarter cup of sugar we're gonna be using to boil the mangoes with. And we're gonna need some more to cook the curry with also. So this is the quarter cup. We're gonna go add this to our mangoes right now. So right after you add your mangoes, you're gonna add your sugar and mix it in. So what do you like your mango curry with? Aero roti or saddle roti? I'm guessing a lot of you are going to like aero roti. Aero roti goes better with everything, right? So let us know in the comments what you like your mango curry with. So we're going to let this steam. Once this is done, we'll continue. So we're using about 5 cloves of garlic for this recipe. So some people have probably never heard of mango curry, right? So you have mango curry, you even have corn curry as well. Ever had corn curry? Yes, there is. Alright, so this is our ground. Pepper garlic. Alright, so our mango is finished steaming out there. And the reason why you do this is to remove the starch from the mango. If you cook it without steaming it, it's gonna taste different. It's going to taste better once you steam it out like this here. And you just steam it out for like about 10 minutes. Alright, so we're going to take these pieces out. So now you're going to discard this water. We're not going to use this water anymore. Just throw it out. So we're going to chop whatever seasonings we have to chop now while our Karahi is getting dried here. And we didn't show you the scallion in the beginning, but we're gonna be using one stem of scallion as well in this recipe. Yeah. 
Okay guys, so now we're going to make our curry paste. So that's the garam masala, roasted ground jeera. Curry powder, turmeric, and we're gonna go add this stuff in here the garlic and the pepper. Okay, that's it. So we are also going to be using a cup sugar as well for the curry in itself. And that's what we have here. So as you can see guys, we are using a little bit more oil than we usually use. So you need a bit more oil to cook your mango curry. Alright, so our oil is hot and we can add our onions and scallions there first with our cinnamon stick. And in goes our cinnamon stick as well. So you just fry your onions for about half a minute and you're gonna add your curry paste next. So we're going to let our curry paste cook for the two minutes as usual and then we're going to add our other ingredients. Oh god this smelling so good boy. Now we're going to add our sugar and the mango not even in yet and this smelling so mighty. So in goes our mangoes now. We're gonna add some salt to taste at this moment. Give that a good mix. So we're gonna cover this back now and let it cook. Okay guys, so we're gonna check our on our mango curry now and it should be time for us to add some water. So as you can see it has evaporated a bit and this doesn't evaporate like our normal curries because there is sugar in there. So it won't evaporate as much as when you don't have sugar in there. So now would be the time to add water. So you're gonna add water to cover your mangoes as usual, cover your ingredients in there and it's bubbling away but no joke this mango curry smells real nice so we're gonna cover this back now and let it cook let it evaporate alright guys so we're gonna check our mango curry here and see what's going on it's been about 15 minutes since it's been boiling so it depends on the type of mango you have, it's going to take, it may take longer different times to boil. But that's looking yummy guys, look at that. So we're going to check here and see. So sometimes depending on your mango, the skin is going to take longer to boil than the inside. And that's what's happening here. Some people cook this, the mango curry without the skin. But then you, you risk all of it falling apart if it's boiled too much. The skin helps to keep it together. Yes guys, so we usually cook the mango with the skin on. And sometimes the mango will boil but the skin hasn't you know, fully boiled as yet because it's a little tough. Depending on which mango you're using. So this needs a bit more so we're gonna boil it for a bit more. And then this will be ready. 
All right, guys. So our mango curry should be done. So we're gonna check on this right now. Check see if it's boiled. So there you go. That's enough liquid in there. And we're gonna just see the mangoes. See that soft cook. So that's it there, guys. That's it for our mango curry. Delicious mango curry. To be enjoyed with some oil roti most likely so if you like this recipe guys so I just want to say one thing before I go um, usually people will use some achara masala in here so we use one and a half uh, tablespoon of garam masala now we didn't have the achara masala in hand so if we had that we would have used one tablespoon of the achara masala and one tablespoon of the garam masala so that's all so if you like this recipe guys, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever you post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.